of Small Town Baker. I hope you guys are enjoying your time and, and uh, excited that it's Friday and not that one day really changes from the next now, but uh, anyway, it is Friday. So guess what that means? It's happy hour. It's gonna be five o'clock somewhere. Um, a little too early for wine for me, but I think I'm gonna have a Stella just to kind of relax and stuff. So, um, ooh, I should've got a bottle in here. Anyway, here we go. delicious okay so today it's an exciting episode it's it's kind of out of my uh, comfort zone because it's something that small town baker has never made before but it became a special request from an old friend of mine Joseph um, so he requested tweed squares that his mom used to make and small world story but I actually knew his mom um, and was my boss way back when I worked at Sears in the catalog order desk I loved her. Um, and uh, I also, of course, knew both of his parents um, from church. So, and Danny, he was such a nice man. Anyway, okay, so this is it. Now, my understanding is that it's, they're very popular in Cape Breton and also in the kind of bridge church lady area. So I think uh, my buddy Kai is gonna uh, uh, be excited if these turn out. Anyway, enough talking, let's get started. We're gonna start to cream together a third of a cup of butter. There's that butter again. I know, Jeff, it's uh, uh, anyway, we'll just pretend that uh, I got it on sale. Okay, before we go any further, my director reminding me, I gotta wash my hands, I gotta keep the COVID out of the kitchen, what was I thinking? So, here we go. Oh, the, let's get some stuff first. <laughs> oh, the year was 1778. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. A letter of mark came from the king to the scummiest vessel I've ever seen. God damn them all. I was told we cruise the seas for American gold. We fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax fear the last of Barrett's. A bariva tears. There we go. I hope uh, my buddy Allison liked that hand washing. I, I feel like I'm getting better at it. And of course, we need to preheat that oven. So we're going to bake at 350 today. Um, so we'll get that started. Well, we uh, cream together our butter and two thirds of a cup of sugar. So this is a one cup measure going to dig right in there and uh, again approximately just not not as high as the cup that gives you two-thirds perfect okay so now I've got my beaters today I don't think we've used them yet in an episode so we're gonna turn these on we're gonna the but butter you wanted to make sure that it was um, soft so that the uh, beating kind of uh, is easier you can also use your mixer too if you want it um, many of you have commented on how much they love my mixer and the awesome cupboard that it comes out of. So stay tuned, maybe in the future, for uh, bringing out the mixer again. Okay, so we're just going to cream that so it's combined. So that's nicely creamed together. Um, we're going to turn the beaters off and uh, that stuff will come off the beaters in a second. And we're gonna put a third of a cup of flour in. So I will go to my third of a cup measure. You know, like I said, measuring is, is good sometimes. There we go. So we're just gonna add a third of a cup of butter. We're gonna, we may as well grab um, 
our salt. I forgot to grab the salt again. Didn't I do that last time? Okay, so we're gonna grab our salt. I'm gonna put a little pinch. Pinch, that's good. Okay, and we're gonna go do two teaspoons of baking powder. So we've got our measuring spoons out here. Whoops. And we've got our magic baking powder already. So we're gonna go one. Okay, and then we just need a half a cup of milk. Okay, so a half of a full is a half. Oh, there we go, I got this right. I got the math right on that one. So I'm going to just um, kind of get the rest of the dry ingredients mixed in there. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna put the milk in, put that on a low, and then we're going to um, put a little vanilla in. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh. There we go. And one teaspoon of vanilla. That looks about right. So we'll give that another little mix. And that's um, um, the, the uh, most of the base now so that's all mixed as you can see and this is going to be where um uh it's something a little bit different we're actually going to fold in um two egg whites and we're going to separate the egg whites and the egg yolks because we're actually going to use the yolks so this is uh this is how i do it i just use the shells it's kind of old school i think good old marion taught me that trick you guys all know Marion Nanmar, also known as uh, my mother. She's a pretty good baker herself. Maybe that's where I got it from. Not sure. Okay, so that's it. So we're gonna put the yolks in that other bowl and we're going to just put those off to the side and we're gonna give uh, these a beat. There we go. So we uh, beat the egg whites just to nice uh, uh, light heat. Okay, so we're gonna turn the beaters off. And we're gonna fold that into the mixture, just gently, because we don't wanna, anytime you're dealing with egg whites, you wanna make sure you don't deflate them. Um, <laughs> you mix them in. Okay, so we're gonna quickly uh, grease the pan. As we know, Nanmar uh, loves a good grease pan. Okay, so uh, we're gonna just eat that around like that. Okay, so um, we're going to then slowly, or well, gently, I should say, fold the egg weights into our batter. This is very exciting. It's very satisfying. The gentle fluffness of the white egg whites. And so we're just gonna fold those in just like this, very gently. We don't wanna use the beaters for this. Just gonna fold and fold. Okay, so um, part of the bottom has a, uh, is it, uh, grated, yeah, grated. Okay, oh. so the bottom of these squares also require two full squares of semi-sweet baker's chocolate. Well, I decided to chop the chocolate. The uh, shredding wasn't um, going my way. So I'm just gonna give the, another little tiny chop and uh, just make sure they're nice and small. And then we're gonna fold those into the batter as well. So we're gonna get those off the chopping board and into the batter. Okay, and again, we don't wanna over mix this, so we're just gonna uh, fold all the chocolate in, yum. Okay, so now we're gonna pour the batter into the pan. Oh, it's very light, fluffy batter. It's from the egg whites. Just get that all nice and flat on the bottom. And we'll get that in the oven. So that's going to take about 20 minutes at 350. I'll just set the timer. 
and we'll check on it. They should kind of become golden brown. Okay, so while those are in the oven, um, we will take a little break and have a, have a sip of my Stella. Delicious. And um, we're gonna get started on our icing. So there's actually two more parts. There's icing and then there's a chocolate top on it. So we'll actually, I think we can actually get both of those prepared while that's cooking. Um, so let's start with the icing. So we need a third of a cup of butter. So that's about a third of a cup. And we need uh, one cup of icing sugar. Um, so, um, that's dirty. So you know what we'll do <laughs> is to do two halves. Um, I might get that butter just softening up a little bit first. Okay, and then we're gonna add one cup of icing sugar. One. Two. So there's the one full cup of icing sugar. And uh, we'll just get that mixed in there. And believe it or not, this is where I add the two egg yolks. Like that, and we're gonna add a little bit more vanilla um, to this, and we'll give this a mix. So, um, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, my fans over in the UK. I have a huge fan base over there. Um, so I'm going to do something special for them in episode next week. So uh, lots of exciting things to look forward to. Um, we uh, might come up with a little Thai and kike, if you know what I mean. All my friends in the UK will understand that. Okay, so those look nicely mixed. So that's actually our icing layer. So we're going to set that aside and then we'll get going on our chocolate mixture. So all I'm gonna do is I'm taking two squares of uns, or semi-sweet uh, baker's chocolate and two tablespoons of butter. So there's one and there's two. Again, measuring to the eye. Um, and so what I'm gonna do with that, I might not do it right now, but I'm gonna um, put that aside and then when we're ready to pour it over the mixture, um, we'll put it in the microwave. All right, well that was about 25 minutes and I'm just checking on them. And they look nice and golden brown. So I'm going to take those out of the oven. We'll turn the oven off. We're gonna let that cool and then we'll put our icing and our chocolate topping on them and let them chill. Um, so um, I just thought maybe I'd uh, kind of let you know what's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna do a Facebook Live episode. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys can join in um, make it interactive, ask questions as we go. My producers will, uh, um, I'm gonna bring in some more staff tomorrow. Maggie and Marie are both gonna work for me tomorrow. And we'll um, uh, kind of get, um, get things going. Four o'clock tomorrow is the time. And we're gonna make two things. So because it's Facebook Live and we really don't have time to cook, we're gonna do some things that don't require cooking. Our first, thing is a favorite from the curling community, Protein Bites. And the, I'm making these in honor of my 100th subscriber, Kylie from Yarmouth. She is, uh, loves my, my videos, at least I think she does. And uh, anyway, so we're gonna make Protein Bites tomorrow. Um, and we're also gonna make peanut butter balls. So I thought maybe I'd kind of give you what the ingredients are, just in case anybody wants to kind of play along. And then we'll uh, post it on Facebook as well. So just to get you guys ready for tomorrow, um, for protein bites, we're gonna need some chocolate chips, some peanut butter, some oatmeal, some flaxseed, some vanilla, and a little bit of honey. Um, geez, I have some friends up uh, Truro Way that I believe have some bees that maybe I might need a donation of honey. Um, and peanut butter balls, you're gonna need some chocolate chips. You're gonna need um, a tiny bit of wax, but you can also use a little bit of shortening, vegetable shortening, peanut butter, rice krispies, unsweetened coconut, m melted butter, and some icing sugar. And uh, we'll be good to go. So we're excited for that tomorrow, four o'clock. Um, and uh, we'll be back to wrap this up. Well, here we go. Small Town Bakers, first ever Tweed Squares. I think they look pretty good myself. 
Um, anyways, can't wait for the taste test. I know there's a few out there, a few of you out there looking forward to some. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Um, we're happy to share the ingredients with you, and we look forward to our FaceTime live tomorrow. Small Town Baker, out.